Kleptosynithium invent a new henchman to pamper his salt with, but it was risky at the time. The inflection wasn't working. It turned purple. He had background noise set to silence, but the foreground was a torrential din that poured down on his ears like chimpanzees from above. And he did scream at that time because there was no easy way to say it, but his French fry English was more of a Spanish boil, German, and he was like, this is how it happened, this is how it starts, when slight accumulations of snow turn into ball and snowball and snowball, and it slowly risks, and it slowly melts and melts together with the fire wind and with the German ornament, Bermany water, and it wiggles lengthwise into small caves and striations that burn heavenly and above with everything that you think initially is part of the backgammon procedure. But then as the St. Wise pollution piles northward, you start to wonder, is this really more like a small glimpse of God through the waves, a small parting of the clouds, and suddenly the sky boils open and there's a face, and she's very angry for what you've done to her creation, and you're like, oh my pants, I voided in my pants, expelling all waste possible, and you are lurching upwards on it, ever expanding space elevator of filth, and you wonder how in the world all this passed through your stomach without killing you, and as your breath runs out in the vastness of space, and your eyeballs freeze in your sockets, and your head expands with pressure, you think, oh, it has killed me, I understand it now, and there is a moment of calm beauty before your head explodes and you're like, this is a world and this was a life that I lived upon it with others and then you're weeping as you smile because partially the emotions overwhelm you and also because after your eyeball froze solid, all the liquid in your body was just sort of pouring out every orifice as it shattered your skin with the tremendous cold of space. But even in that moment, you felt the cosmic rays bombarding you like never before on the surface of the Earth because you didn't have the blue and brace of the atmosphere to protect you from their scurvy depredations. And so, all of your pants have burnt away because you didn't have a heat shield as your body fell back to Earth. So you were fine. That makes sense. The tremendous heat didn't burn you. The problem was it burnt up your pants and when your body which also didn't splat when it hit the ground, landed. It was like, this isn't 100% what we were going to do because real, handsome, undestroyed, dead person. But the problem is that their pants have been, they aren't wearing pants. And you know, some people would be like, what a weirdo to jump from the top of the world with no pants. They're an exhibitionist. Other, more knowledgeable people would be like, I do not believe that to be the case. I don't believe it was their intention to lie here naked from the waist down and smash the bits from falling from space. What I think happened and here, they would be right. My friends, is that the friction created by the entry into the atmosphere heated the pants to a great degree and they will boil it away, leaving his skin unarmed, unharmed, born and barmed able to be re-yarned and they're like we have belief in you science prevails and that's what i'd like to see in the nation schools i'd like to see a little more tt a little less preachy preaching i like to think that god himself thinks there's no religion if and he doesn't believe in him his own self and it's like why am i supposed to have a better standard than him or her she's like i can't do this i'm an imposter I'm not a real god and she's panicked and she's like, I should just eliminate all of humans. No, no, that's insanely cruel, no, but they're horrible. It's the only way and that's why the world's like this. And it's like, why do I have to live a better standard than that? You know, I don't think it's fair. I don't think it's right. And I don't think it's enforceable by Congress. So I'm going to have to find out the hard way, right, to the... I'm not going to go to the Supreme Court, though. I'm going to the Shireles Court. And we are going to dominate, dominate, dominate ruthlessly. And then we'll say the safe word and switch. And I will be submitted ruthlessly, also deeper lessly and carelessly.